loves me? So that's why he stopped me from doing something that would have damaged my reputation, huh? <laughs> Are you sure that it's okay with you that it's me? I'm on cleaning duty today, but it's so annoying. Why don't you just ask someone else to do it? Eh? Oh, this again. She'll probably come. I'm Keichi Sato, and I'm just your average high school student. Uh, lately, I've been struggling with something. Hey, Keichi Kun. Yes? Are you free today? Huh? You're free, right? I do have things to do, you know. But I just couldn't say what I was thinking in my mind to the radiant Kiriyama-san, who is in the popular group. You are free, right? Um... Oh, really? You are free? Then can you do the cleaning instead? It's okay with you, right? You do it for me! Nagisa Kiriyama. She is cute and popular not only in the class, but also outside of school. But just because she's cute doesn't mean she's allowed to do whatever she wants. But I just couldn't say no to her. Since everyone's looking, too, I guess I should put up with it for the sake of settling it amicably with her. Fine. You're so slow at responding. Ah, <sighs> well then, do it well. <sighs> this is what I've been struggling about. I'm... Oh, it's class three. Um, my seat is... Whoa, no way! I'm sitting next to Kiriyama-san! My seat is here. Oh, you're Satoku, right? Y yeah Please take good care of me this year, Satoku. The of excitement I had for Kiriyama-san back then is gone. Two months had passed since Kiriyama-san began to force me to do things which she wouldn't want to do. I've already forgotten what exactly made her start to force me in doing things for her. The next day. Today, I would like to choose the committee members for the sports festival that will be held the month after the next. The members should be one male and one female from each class. If there are any candidates, it'll be quickly decided, so everyone should actively raise their hands. But despite what the teacher said, there were no candidates from my class. In the end, there was no way we could decide on a candidate during the discussion. And as the homeroom was about to drag on... Hey, I want to already go home, you know. When is it going to be decided? Someone should just get nominated. Yeah, that's right. Is no one going to nominate? If she's going to say that, Kiriyama-san should be the one to just do it. I think if she'd do it, any guys would want to do it with her. Hey, why don't you do it, Keichiku? Huh? Me? Yeah, you got time anyways. I want to go home quickly, so just say that you do it. Since my classmates stared at me, I had no choice but to take on the responsibility of being a member of the sports festival committee. Alright, finally I can go home. Now all we need is a female member. What? It's still gonna take time? It seems like she didn't really listen, huh? It seems like the meeting could go longer, but there are people who need to go to club activities. I'd like to draw lots for the girls. Boo! 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 Please be quiet. Well then, please draw the lots one by one. Ugh! How annoying! Can someone just participate for it? Oh! Oh? It's decided that it would be you, Kiriyama-san. What? Hey! Hey, Nagisa, you forced Sato to become a member and now... You're going to be the member too! That's just too hilarious. I'm embarrassed all because of you, Keichikun. This really sucks. The next day. Well, let's go, Kiriyama-san. Oh, all right, all right. It looks like she really doesn't want to go. She always puts all the trouble on me, but this time I'm also on the organizing committee with her, so that won't be possible. I feel a little bad, but it can't be helped. Well, that's all for today. If each class could come up with a proposal by next time. Phew, finally, it's finished. See ya! Hey, Kiriyama-san! What? Were you even listening? Not really. What? If you were listening, then there should be no issue, right, Keichikun?
but we'll have to come up with an idea for the event and submit it at the next week's committee meeting. Eh, you can do that on your own, Keichikun. See ya, bye. What? Huh? What? The sports festival will be over the month after the next, so at least try your best until then. If the people in class finds out, they won't feel good that you were being like that. Uh, Keichikun, you're being annoying. Then, can you message me over Lime about the details? Huh? I'll check once I get home. Okay, but I don't know your Lime info, Kiriyama-san. Then, let's exchange contact information. Well, see ya. And that evening. That must be tough for you, having to look after Kiriyama-san. Why don't you just leave her alone? I can't really leave her alone. Keichi, you're so overprotective. Kiriyama-san is good-looking, but she's a monster inside. Good evening. I'll share with you what the committee said earlier. It may be annoying, but it would be helpful if you could think of some events that you would like to do by the next week. Thank you. By the way, I found this just now. Oh, isn't this Keiji's all-time favorite snack, which is only sold for a limited time? He was really looking around for it last year, right? You're the only one who would like this kind of thing, Keiji. I love it. So you bought it, right? Well, I did buy it, so I'll give it to you uh, tomorrow at school. Thanks. You're great. I love you. Wow, I'm so grateful. I should send a message saying I love you. I love you. Well, I should go to sleep. What? Calm down. Just calm down, Nagisa. Just one more time. Huh? He... he... he loves me? So, that's why he stopped me from doing something that would have damaged my reputation, huh? <laughs> Huh? What's wrong? Is she going to force me to do something again? M morning. Huh? <laughs> Are you sure that it's okay with you that it's me? Huh? What is she talking about? Um, was she asking if it was okay that she's the committee member? Yeah, I want it to be you, Kiriyama-san. <sighs> if she's in a bad mood again, it'll be a hassle. I had to have her be in a good mood. I felt that something was wrong, and it seems that I was right. After school. Hey, Keichika, are you free today after? Why? There's a new dessert shop in town. Wanna go together? Huh? With me? Yes, with you, Keichika. Uh, what about with the people you usually hang out with? I wanna go with you today, Keichika. Okay? So, can we? Mmm, so delicious. It's really yummy, right, Keichika? Yeah, it's yummy. Mmm. It is indeed delicious. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know Kiriyama-san laughed like that in the classroom. I've only seen her grumpy face. Hmm? Keichiko, what's wrong? Oh, it's nothing. Then, somehow, about three days a week, I was asked out on a date by Kiriyama-san after school. It's okay to call it a date, right? I felt a thrill of excitement when Kiriyama-san treated me in a very girly way. Keichiko! Let's hurry up and go to the committee meeting. Oh, yeah. And lately, since I've been hanging out with Kiriyama-san, she's been actively participating in the committee meetings. And what was that all about on the first day when she was resisting to go? Hey, Nagisa changed recently, hasn't she? She's always with Sato. I had no idea that Nagisa would change a lot for Sato. Yeah, but doesn't she look happy? Yeah, you're right. She changed? For me? Um, Kiriyama-san. Hmm? I have something I want to ask you. Oh, from you, Keichika? How rare. What is it? What is it? You've been asking me out after school a lot lately, and you've been helping me out a lot, but... Yeah? I was wondering why. Huh? C come on. Keichika, what are you talking about? What's wrong with you? Huh? You're not the one to joke around, right? We're going out, so it's only normal. What? I'm sorry, what do you... You sent me a message saying you love me, right? Huh? What? I'm sorry, I sent you this? What? 
It's you, Keichika. You sent it on the evening on the day we had the first committee meeting. The committee meeting? Oh, on that day! I'm really sorry. I thought that I sent that message to the group chat I have with my friends. Huh? I'm sorry. I really didn't realize that I sent it to you as a mistake. No way. You're lying. Huh? I'm saying the truth. Th then all this time... I've misunderstood? Huh, Kiriyama-san? Keichika, you were really awkward and you kept calling me by my last name. So, I knew there was something wrong, but... Um... If I've misunderstood, then... That's embarrassing. I feel like this is... Deja vu. But this time, it's different. I regretted that I should have realized earlier that I had sent the wrong message. Kiriyama-san's crying face has stuck with me as if it was burned into my brain. She looked so hurt. And from the next day on, Kiriyama-san stopped hanging out with me. We stopped talking, our eyes don't meet like it used to anymore. Hey, Nagisan, you don't have to hang out with Sato? Huh? Sato's looking at our direction. Oh, um, it's okay. She doesn't push me to do things for her anymore. We don't even have uh, after-school dates anymore, and I don't have the opportunity to give them things, too. I guess I'm just back to my normal routine, huh? I wonder if Nagisa's okay. She looked like she's hurt. Yeah. Kiriyama-san, did something happen at P.E.? I couldn't stay still as I heard what the girls were talking about. Kiriyama-san! Oh! Are you okay, Kiriyama-san? Um... Uh, hey... There's something I want to talk to you about, but let's patch you up first. Uh, um, Kiriyama-san, I'm really sorry about sending that message by mistake, but I really didn't think that you would take it that way. I hurt you without thinking about your feelings at all. I wasn't even aware that we were dating. But the more time we spent together, the more I thought, Oh, you look cute when you'd laugh, or that you were actually really girly. And as I got to know various aspects of you, I realized... It was too late, but... I was attracted to you. Oh no, she's not saying anything, so that's a bit scary. But I guess, if it's from Kiriyama-san's point of view, it's a little late, huh? Uh-huh. W wait why are you crying? I don't know. What? I won't forgive you. Well, I guess she's mad, and that's normal. I will never forgive you. Yeah, I'm sorry. What you said. Even if you say that you sent the message accidentally again, I won't let you take it back. Is that okay? Huh? Is that okay? Whoa, she's so cute. Is that okay? It's what I honestly feel, so I won't take it back. I won't ever leave you. Ever. Our love began from the message which I sent as an accident. This is really sweet. Is it delicious? I think it's so-so for me. Really? I think it's yummy. I won't let our love be limited, just like how snacks are. And we will build our love together. Thanks for watching until the end! Please like the video and subscribe to our channel!